Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a video that has been shared on social media showing a Jubilee senatorial aspirant removing Jubilee brand from his car. And the information from the ground is that after this aspirant by the name Anthony Karimi realized that Jubilee Party has given his opponent a direct nomination ticket, he decided to now get out of Jubilee Party and go for that seat on an independent ticket. Now, I want you to watch that video. It's a very short clip. And after that, we want to understand what does this one means for Jubilee Party, President Huru Kenyatta, if we compare him to William Ruto and Raila Molo Dinga. Watch it shortly. Independent as a candidate, Senate candidate, Wakarinaga, Nabon Votole, Ground Yoga Maranda Independent, Na Kayatura Asante. Thank you. Now we are continuing with our particular discussion, but I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So, my humble request please consider subscribing so that any other time, once release a video like this, and you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, Kilinaga County is attracting about two, three serious senatorial candidates. <laughs> Remember, we have the former Kilinaga Senator, Daniel Karaba who joined Jubilee after dumping STP party here, Mwangi Kihunjuri. And the reason behind this could be that Mwangi Kihunjuri went to sign a coalition agreement with Kenya Kwanza. And now in Kenya Kwanza, we have the current Senator Charles Kibiru Ruben, who actually moved, was it from Jubilee to UDA? <laughs> So, this STP candidate, Daniel Karaba, realized that if we go with Mwanga Kionjuri to Kenya Kwanza, the biggest problem is that Kenya Kwanza, through UDA party, have a candidate who happened to be a sitting senator. So the only way for him to compete favorably and fairly is to go for Jubilee ticket, because he realized that now, even in UDA, Wanapanga Watu, there is consensus. People are negotiating. So if they could have gone into negotiation, then Ruto and Gambia Mojawao, as mommy, of course, you cannot throw away the incumbent. So there was no way he was going to get the ticket. That's why he jumped to Jubilee. And now, Jubilee had another candidate by the name Anton Karimi. So Jubilee might have decided to go for the former senator, <laughs> Daniel Karaba, and give him a direct nomination ticket, leaving Anton outside. So that is the story here. And therefore, I want to compare President Uhuru Kenyatta, who happened to be the Jubilee Party leader, to what Raila Odinga is trying to do in ODM and what William Samoy Ruto is doing in Kenya Kwanza and even in UDA party. Because what is coming out clear here is that President Uhuru Kenyatta is failing when it comes to negotiation. Because look at what Raila did in Western region. <laughs> he put these members of parliament together he negotiated with them and he gave a direct ticket. No one was not contented with the results. 
No one protested. No one decided to go for independent. Same thing that William Ruto is doing in UDA and even in Kenya Kwanzaa. Because before they give this ticket, they put these members of parliament or senators or governors together. They have a meeting. Whether they are negotiating or arranging, because seemingly what is happening is arranging the democracy. The only good thing that Raila and Ruto have managed is to avoid spill out. They put these leaders together, then when they come out to announce the person who has been given the ticket, the remaining team, they don't contest the results. They agree with what the outcome these leaders are announcing. They don't protest. That means William Ruto and Raila Odinga are managing to deal with the all the issues within the party, the housekeeping issues within their party, so that there's no breakout at the end of the day. So, you see Uhuru now, seemingly he gave out the ticket to the preferred candidate, but not even negotiating with the other contester of the same ticket. That's why Anton is feeling that Amechezwa. And that's why he's now deciding to go for an independent ticket. Because you can see, he's a very angry man. Maybe they did not negotiate with him. They did not take care of his political interest. Even if they are giving promise, whether it's true or fake, at least you need to promise someone. So it can be true, Uhuru was looking for a serious candidate. And yes, he has a candidate who once won this election on STP party. It was a small party, but he won. So he can be a serious candidate. But the issue is he has not dealt with the breakup issues in this party. Because now, even after issuing out this certificate, the candidate of Jubilee party might go out there as an injured person who want to compete with other people when they may have their consensus, they have negotiated, and they are bringing one candidate. So the Jubilee candidate is going out as an injured candidate. Because this candidate was supposed to go with the support of, number one, his close contender, the contester, Minalikuwa close na So already, Anton is not endorsing his opponent. He is not ready to support him. Instead, he has decided to go all the way to the ballot. So, whose vote is going to be divided here? I think it is Jubilee votes and the Kenya Kwanzaa votes. Because he is moving out with his support. Yes, you cannot convince everyone to go with you because we are people who have been supporting him because he is in Jubilee. And we have other supporters who will always go with you, whether you are making the right decision or wrong decision. Whether they know you are going to fail or you are going to pass. These people, they could have supported Jubilee candidate if Uhuru could have handled this nomination issue properly. So Uhuru is giving UDA party and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance an upper hand in Kirinaga politics. That is what he has done. And I will not be surprised if William Ruto can reach out to Mr. Karimi. He might reach out to him and bring him in UDA and what will happen if he does that? <laughs> so Uhuru need to look on a way even if he want to force his candidate, but at least he should be seen as a person who is negotiating and who is considering the other people within that party. So for me, Uhuru has failed. William Ruto is doing well in as much as Anapanga Watu. PR is good there. The PR really is good. Raila Odinga is trying. Johoma Bey kumekua na shida. kidero. But Western, he managed nicely. And even he outwits the DAP party because DAP was coming with a full force and they were taking over.
but he managed that issue very properly. So Uhuru in his own bedroom, he needs to play his politics very properly because he has a big enemy in the name of UDA party. UDA is looking for all elective seats in Mount Kenya. So every small problem and a mistake Uhuru will make, it is going to haunt him. It is going to haunt his UDA Jubilee party. That is the truth. So I don't want to think about this. But that's my view. If Karimi will go on ballot as an independent candidate, Jubilee is going to lose. And if Uhuru will not call him to negotiate and apologize, then Ruto might call him. And at the end of the day, politics is a game of numbers. All of these people are looking for elective seats. So there is loser and there is winner. Let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.